Hi guys, happy Tuesday and welcome to Barrel Racer Life. My name is Maddie Kemp. Uh, so this past week I had a couple rodeos on the weekend. It was also my 29th birthday, um, September 6th, so that was exciting. Um, Cody made it a special day for me and I got lots of presents with unicorns on them, so good job Cody. Um, this coming week is going to be a little extra crazy around here because it is our wedding weekend coming up. September 14th, we are getting married. Um, my family's here, my friends are starting to come in pretty soon um, today and tomorrow and the next day my bridesmaids are all gonna be showing up so it's gonna be kind of a madhouse around here and anyone that knows me is not gonna be surprised that I left most things to the very last minute so um, it's been a little bit hectic around here but I'm gonna show you guys all about this past week have to show you guys this stuff. I'm so excited about all the new level up stuff for fall so we've got cheetah print shirt what girl doesn't like cheetah print and the level up triangles on there and then we have this baseball tee so it's got the three-quarter sleeve with camo and then it's got the level up triangles with some coral color in there we've got these tees this is like a kind of gray color and then it also comes in navy these hoodies are super comfy this is like an ash gray color, and it's got the level up rodeo on there as well. So I'm actually really obsessed with this color. It's like kind of a sea foamy green turquoise. Oh, so cool. And then this one I love as well. And then I love this Queen of Hearts one. It turned out so cool. And very last I've got this here. It's kind of like a flowy, the sleeves are flowy, so the uh, body's a little bit more on the fitted side, I guess you could say, and then flowy sleeves, and it's so soft. And we have some men's tees. Got the team roper on there. It's kind of a cool gray color. And then this, I had it in mind as a men's hoodie, but I figured, you know, it can also be for girls because it's unisex size. And it just, you know, if you prefer something a little bit plainer. So it's got the level up arrows on there in white with black and then level up apparel down the sleeve. Those are all the new things I have in stock for Level Up Apparel. So go check out levelupapparelcompany.com. I'm obviously a little bit biased, but I'm really excited about all the fall products. And a surprise! <laughs> well, I'm sad to report I don't have a video. My videographer is fired. <laughs> so my friend Melissa actually came down to um, surprise me today because today is my birthday. So I got here and she was waiting for me. So I'm really glad I got to see her. And again, she's fired from videoing, but that's okay. I got to see her and hang out. Claude had a really good run. Um, he was an 18.4, which I was like, oh, it's kind of slow, but turns out um, it was pretty deep out there. So we're sitting second with that. They do have an entire slack and another performance tomorrow, um, but he's sitting right up in there and he handled it really well because this rodeo there a whole fair and rides and stuff right on the one end of the arena which is still a scary thing for him because he's just not really seasoned yet so he handled all of that like a champ so I'm really proud of him and now I'm going to load up and head home happy birthday to me <laughs> and I'm uh, gonna go back home and then get some sleep before cashmere road Well, Cody's coming with me today. We're headed up to Cashmere Rodeo, which is pretty close to home, which is nice. And my parents are actually gonna meet us there. So they're coming down um, for the week before the wedding and staying for a few days after. And it is wedding week this coming week and wedding next weekend. So they're gonna come down tonight, watch Cashmere Rodeo, watch me run, which I don't think they've actually ever seen me run Claude in person. So they'll get to watch me run Claude and then we're all gonna come back here. So I'm looking forward to having some company tonight. Let's go, Ray! 
the first, come on. Hustle with a hustle with it around the second. We go, I like it. You betcha. Now it's fast, hustle with it, come on. The third and final barrel turn and head for home, I like it. 16, 17, 18 and 13. Gonna be sitting second, 18 and 13. We by the arena. Someone will not stop looking over there. We're a little scared of the donkeys. Well, apparently we lay down on the counter now. Are you excited about this? No. Getting some grandma love, or you just need some grandma love? Oh. Getting some grandma love, yes. Okay. <laughs> it just it just gives me some grandma love too, hey? Oh, guys. Oh, hey there. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Hi there. Oh, <laughs> Something I'm gonna talk to you about quickly today is goals. So, my goal this year, my major goal that has been my goal for the last probably three years now is to make the pro west finals i have not made those finals yet and i've been trying <laughs> so this year i was able to go a little bit harder i had to miss some of the spring rodeos because i wasn't with my visa and everything couldn't come across the border as frequently as i needed to but as the summer started to roll on and i was able to stay down here and all that um i was kind of bound and determined that I was going to make those finals. So I went to as many rodeos as I could fit in and made a few checks here and there, had some really good learning lessons, and I didn't make my goal. But I'm going to show you where I ended up. The top 12 make the Pro West finals. I am a long ways from the top 12. But a few things that I'm really excited about. That is the highest I have been on that list. Okay, so that is a big win for one. There has been years where I have not been on that list at all. That's right, I went to a whole bunch of rodeos and did not make a single check. Why did I keep going? Well, I'm kind of a bound and determined person. When I set a goal, I'm gonna go after it, even if it doesn't always make the most sense. So again, I did that this year and I went after it hard. I'm further up the list than I've ever been. No, I didn't make the goal, but guess what? Next year, we're set up to roll into it even better. Um, we have some more experience under our belts, and now I've got two horses that are running really tough. So next year, I'm coming for you. I did not make the Pro S Finals this year. I tried really freaking hard, and we climbed the list, and we did all the things. My horses worked really hard for me, and I had a lot of learning, but next year, I'm coming for you. So for you guys that feel like your goals are out of reach and you're having a hard time, it takes a while, honestly, and look at those little wins. Give yourself a little bit of a reason to celebrate. Understand that I had been not on the list at all numerous years, and that is really frustrating. This year, I've got almost $1,000 won, and I've moved up the ladder. So I know a clean slate gets wiped next year, and I'm going to have to start all over again. But I know now, okay, this is what I'm capable of, and we're going to go in with more experience next year, and we're going to go get them. So keep on trying, you guys. If you're feeling down on yourself, it's okay. It takes a long time. It's a lot of hard work and determination but if you really want something just keep on going at it and it's going to happen so I didn't have a ton of footage this week and it's just been so crazy um, with trying to plan a wedding and ride and rodeo and run level up and everything of course it's just been a lot on my plate so um, I didn't really have a ton for you this week but I'm excited to say that Claude and I actually hung out for a third place check at Cashmere Rodeo which is the highest him and I have placed so far at one of these rodeos so I'm really excited about that uh, it was a pretty good check which is awesome and that kind of rounds out our rodeo season for the year so I am I'm going to be going to the NBHA finals, not this coming weekend, but the one after, and that's in Moses Lake. Um, it's our state finals. I've never been to them before. This is my first year having an NBHA membership, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm also going to tell you guys there's not going to be a Barrel Racer Life episode next week, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, because our wedding is coming up this weekend, I honestly really just want to take it all in, be present, enjoy it, and not have to worry about A, taking footage, um, B, you know, after this crazy weekend and all our time with friends and family, I don't want to have to um, come back and edit everything as well. So I know, I'm sorry. I know you guys are going to want to see pictures, so I will definitely include some of those in 
the episode the following week. So two weeks from now, I will be back to normal with my barrel racer life schedule, but there's just not going to be one next week. Sorry, guys. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. And if you guys are enjoying these videos, please subscribe to my channel.